Thursday, the 9th of May, 2024. Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Thursday in the sixth week of Easter, Year B. Today is the Feast of the Ascension. We'll take a brief look at the events and significance of this day. Thank you for joining us in worship. Forty days after the resurrection, Jesus and his disciples went to Mount Olivet, near Jerusalem. There, Jesus promised his followers that they would soon receive the Holy Spirit, and he instructed them to remain in Jerusalem until the Spirit had come. Then Jesus blessed them, and as he gave the blessing, he began to ascend into heaven. The account of Jesus' ascension is found in Luke chapter 24, verses 50 to 51, and in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. It is indeed plain from Scripture that Jesus' ascension was a literal bodily return to heaven. He rose from the ground gradually and visibly, observed by many intent onlookers. As the disciples strained to catch a last glimpse of Jesus, a cloud hid him from their view, and two angels appeared and promised Christ's return in just the same way that they would have seen him go up into the cloud. The ascension of Jesus is meaningful for several reasons. One, it signaled the end of his earthly ministry. God the Father had lovingly sent his Son into the world at Bethlehem, and now the Son was returning to the Father. The period of human limitation was at, the, was at an end. Two, it signified success in his earthly work. All that he had come to do, he had accomplished. Three, it marked the return of his heavenly glory. Jesus' glory had been veiled during his sojourn on earth, with one brief exception at the transfiguration. Four, it symbolized his exaltation by the Father, the one with whom the Father is well pleased was received up in honor and given a name above all names. Five, it allowed him to prepare a place for us. Six, it indicated the beginning of his new work as high priest and mediator of the new covenant. It set the pattern for his return. When Jesus comes to set up the kingdom, he will return just as he left, literally, bodily, and visibly in the clouds. Currently, the Lord Jesus is in heaven. The scriptures frequently picture him at the right hand of the Father, a position of honor and authority. Christ is the head of the church, the giver of spiritual gifts, and the one who fills all in all.
Jesus said, I am with you always, even to the ends of the ages. Hallelujah. For Christ has entered, not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins, and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalm 24 and 96. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who founded it upon the seas and made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord and who can stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not pledged themselves to falsehood nor sworn by what is a fraud, they shall receive a blessing from the Lord and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such 
is the generation of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your hands, your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates. Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be fed than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth Tremble before him. Tell it out to the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood Shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the word of the Lord, written in the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14, and then 24 to 28b. That's Ezekiel 1, verses 1 to 14, then 24 to 28b. In the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, of the fifth, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the river Sheba, the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiachin. The word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Sheba. And the hand of the Lord was on him there. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north. Came out of the north. A great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually. And in the middle of the fire, something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance. They were of human form. Each had four faces, and each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like the soles of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like burnished bronze. Under their wings, on their four sides, they had human hands. And the four had their faces and their wings thus. The wings touched one another, 
Each of them moved straight ahead without turning as they moved. As for the appearance of their faces, the four had the face of a human being, the face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side, and the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. Their wings were spread out above. Each creature had two wings, each of which touched the wing of another, while two covered their bodies. Each moved straight ahead. Wherever the spirit would go, they went, without turning as they went. In the middle of the living creatures, there was something that looked like burning, like burning coals of fire, like torches moving to and fro among the living creatures. And the fire was bright, and the lightning and lightning issued from the fire. The living creatures darted to and fro like a flash of lightning. When they moved, I heard the sound of their wings, like the sound of mighty waters, like the thunder of the Almighty, a sound of tumult, like the sound of an army. When they stopped, they let down their wings, and there came a voice from above, the dome over their heads. When they stopped, they let down their wings, and above the dome, over their heads, there was something like a throne, in appearance like sapphire, and seated above the likeness of a throne was something that seemed like a human form. Upward from what appeared there appeared like the li like the loins, I saw something like gleaming amber, something that looked like fire enclosed all around, and downward from what looked like the loins, I saw something that looked like fire, and there was a splendor all around, like the bow in a cloud on a rainy day, such was the appearance of the splendor all around. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant, Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the letter of Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 5 to 18. That's Hebrews 2, 5 to 18. Now God did not subject the common world about which we are speaking to angels, but someone has testified somewhere. What are human beings that you are mindful of them? or mortals that you care for them. You have made them for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned them with glory and honor, subjecting all things under their feet. Now in subjecting all things to them, God left nothing outside their control. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to them, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death 
for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through suffering. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things, so that through that he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us that in us and through us your will may be done. The Collect for Ascension Day Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens 
that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. The Collect for the Sixth Sunday of Easter. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory, now and forever. Amen. Father, we bring our children to you for your blessing. Help us to be sensitive to their needs. Give us wisdom in our care of them, that they may grow up rooted in love, steadfast in faith, strong and courageous in life, Guide us and all who have the care of children. May we never hinder, but help and encourage them towards independence and maturity and to a living faith in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, support us all day long of this troublous life until the shades lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, Lord, in mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Light no darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Merciful God, to you we commend ourselves and all those who need your help and correction. Where there is hatred, give love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. Where there is darkness, light. Grant that we may not seek so much to be consoled as to consoled, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving we receive, in pardoning we are pardoned, and it is in dying we are born into eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.